So when I was test fitting the rubber boots that go onto the uh, the air box right over there, um, I put the boot on the box and had a real hard time getting these um, these clamps on. So what I figured out, and it's not rocket science, but it just dawned on me, um, put the boots on, put the clamps on rather, you know, prior to attaching the boot to the um, to the uh, the air box. So just fit it on, all right, and then. These uh, the larger diameter size. Um, this piece uh, will go up against the uh, the air box itself, and the OEM, the factory, they put the um, they put the ugly side, the clamp side, on the bottom, and you can see there's a uh, there's a molding line here on the uh, on the rubber boot. So I line that up for the bottom part because no one's going to see that. Basically, it's going to be like that, and then for the top part, and you can move these once you know once you're. Uh, you get them on there. The top part, just squeeze on, uh, and that's it. And then the next part would be to uh, attempt to fit onto the uh, the box. Now that I've put the uh, the metal clamps onto the rubber boot, uh, I'm going to squeeze the uh, the boot onto the uh, to the air box, and I just kind of carefully rotate. or not, and eventually we'll, we'll squeeze right on, and I should be able to turn this, and that's it, and we can see the bottom isn't plush yet, there we go, and it should all be in line now, there we go, so I'm going to use the clamp tool to, well, clamp the clamp. only pinch a little bit at a time. The tool should the clamp should rise up and it should dig into this piece over here. And then that should be it.